All right, so what we have here is a HSW 630V. Two and a half, I think out of a big C-Ray, and it ran aground, and it's here for, uh, the well, they actually the insurance company requested it to be checked out, and it's actually stuck it forward. Now, how do I know that is I'm turning this shaft, and the output shaft is turning directly. So, if I turn the output shaft, the input shaft turns, so that, that should not be doing that. And I held it with both hands, even though I can't hold the camera and show you, but so it, it is locked and forward. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. Probably has a couple of warped, warped clutch plates in uh, the forward drum there. So we'll get it apart and see how bad this is. Okay, I got my V-Drive apart. And you can see it, this one is locked up. And this one turns. So these clutch plates in here are warped. You can see, like it's that one right there actually but see, there should be some movement here obviously we're in neutral so I have to move that so I can't wiggle these so this one's froze so we'll uh, press that apart and see what she looks like okay there's a special tool required to press this off so this bearing is actually pressed onto this shaft so what we have are these wedge plates more or less so this has to go under here. So now since this is tied up and burned up, there's no clearance here. So I drive this in with a hammer and drive these half moons in. And then we chuck this up on the press and then we press this gear along with this bearing off so we can get to the clutch pressure plate. All right, I've got my uh, input shaft assembly, drum assembly set up in the press. Let's go ahead and press this off. I'm going to catch this so I don't uh, drop the uh, drum. So I'll be back here in a second with it when I get it apart. All right, I've got the gear pressed off. We'll uh, pop out the snap ring here. Probably when he hit ground, the prop stopped. The engine kept trying to force it. See, and that's one thing with brass clutches or bronze clutches is they warp or they weld together. So when he was probably stuck on the ground there, the prop was tied up. Of course, it's probably an 8.1 liter engine, got plenty of power and torque. So it kept spinning, and then it locked these up and probably stalled the engine. That's probably exactly what happened. So we'll uh, clean this thing up replace the clutches and we'll test it on our dyno and we'll reseal it while we're there. Okay, I've got the clutches replaced and you can see they both spin freely and neutral like they should. We've got adequate clearance. So I can air check it, which I will do. Grab an air hose here. All right, let's rotate this guy. So let's put air right there. Let's rewind for this side. And let's go forward. See, we're all set. So we'll finish putting her together. Okay, we got our ZF2 to 1 ready to test here. Got dyno fired up. Uh -oh, too slow. Is the shift good?
say she's good to go. Nice and quiet. We'll ship her.